Well, howdy ho, Stampers, Deb Valder here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and I'm going to show you the cutest card ever. I received a card like this at a Founder Circle retreat in our swap, and I just absolutely loved it. I gave it to my son for his birthday just a few days ago, and he absolutely loved it. So let me just show you what it looks like. It's a record. Do you remember uh, 45s? If you don't remember, I'm actually dating myself right now. But um, it comes with a jacket. Yep, that's what we used to call the covers that we put the uh, records in, a little jacket. And um, when it opens up, this is what it looks like on the inside. So let me just show you how we did this. Um, it's just very simple but absolutely adorable. One of the things you must have, and I'm telling you and I tell you every single time I make a video, you need all the, the nestable framelits that we have. The circles, the squares, the ovals, um, the stars, every one of them because they just lend themselves to so much um, diversity. I just love them, absolutely love them. So today let me just show you what you're going to need. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to need to cut out um, with our largest circle and that would be this one right here. Okay, it's not the scallop, <clears throat> excuse me, it's the one <coughs> right next to it. So what I did was I cut that out um, <clears throat> with two black pieces. So I took, and you can't see them because obviously they are on black paper, but I cut out two black ones, okay, and that was with the um, largest circle. And I also cut out two window sheets. These are our window sheets, and I cut out two of those. Those are the exact same. So now we have the two black ones and the two window sheets. And then what I did was I folded a piece of cardstock in half, and um, I took my framelit, and you just offset it just a, just a hair, okay? Can you see where there's just a little bit of a, a, an edge right up here? So when I cut this circle, I'm not going to cut this edge. I'm only going to cut um, almost all of the rest of it. Okay, so when you have this, this part right here that wasn't cut is actually going to be an opened card. Do you see what I did? Okay, so those are our large pieces. And uh, the next thing that I did was I cut out my blushing bride piece, which was this one right here. And that was the fifth from the middle. And I just used this framelit right here, and that was the fifth from the middle. Okay, so there's that one. And then the next one that I did was I cut out the, um, the, I cut out actually one of these, you can cut out one or two of them. What I did with the second one was I stamped my stamp first, and then I cut it out after I stamped it. But you could actually cut it out ahead of time and then stamp it after that. Um, and I'll just show you what I mean by that. You're going to need it for one more thing, the middle of your jacket. So what I did was, with my jacket, I cut it down to four and four and a quarter. They started, it started out to be a full, um, a full, uh, bag, and we sell these in our catalog. Um, it, it's a full, it's a full bag. I cut it down from the bottom up, so I cut off the top here, um, so it measured from here to here at four and a quarter, so it can still fit into an envelope, a regular size envelope. I cut up from there to there, and then I took my, um, framelit again, and I just cut the middles out, okay? So that looks like my jacket, and we'll finish this up in just a moment, but I just wanted to show you that I did cut that out, okay? All right, so how do we begin? Let's start with um, our two black pieces, and what we're going to do is we're going to adhere them to the um, to the white card. All right. Now, just be careful. All right. So we know where our our top piece is. So this is the top of our card because that's where the seam is. Okay. So I'm going to take my card and I'm going to add my adhesive. We're going to add it to the front. And, whoops, hang on one second here. Let's take that off and start again. Let's see. All right, it's the, it's the, it is the exact same size. Okay, so there's our front, and then we're just going to take and do the same thing to our back. You can just kind of hold it up in the air like that and grab it on there. Okay, now what we need to do is to put our um, window sheets on. Now, normally with window sheets, you've got to be very careful with our tape, and you're not going to put tape on the outsides here because you'd be able to see it. So we're going to concentrate our, our um, tape right underneath the blushing bride piece. So I'm just going to take and put it in the center and add my window sheet on the front. And then I'm going to add my window sheet to the back. Okay? 
Now we still have our card that opens up just like this. Okay? And see how you can see that tape? But don't worry, because we're not gonna we're not gonna end up um we're not gonna end up um seeing that. Alrighty. So now what we need to do is we need to we need to stamp. Um, this piece right here. And where does this come from? This is one of our handmade stamps. And um, I just, you can put whatever you want on them. So I'm going to take my memento ink and stamp up for the record by just placing it right here in the middle, stamping it down, and here we have our for the record. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take and um, adhere that to one of our pieces, one of our blushing bride pieces right here, okay? And then I'm going to take my new punch, and our new punches, this is the 1 8 inch punch, and the, the difference between these and the old ones, or ones that you buy in the store, is that this has a longer neck, so we can fit it to the middle. So I'm just going to take and I'm going to center this right in the middle of the R, right here, and that is the middle of our record. So after I did that, I'm just going to take and I'm going to adhere that to my front of my card. Now this is where you want to make sure that the back and the front um, or the top of the card is in the right spot. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and add my adhesive and just kind of center that into the middle and that is the, almost the front of our card. Now I, know, I just need to take and add um, a little heart and that's done with the owl punch and this heart right up here. So I'm just going to take a little piece of my red glitter paper and I'm going to adhere that. But I'm going to wait until the very end because I'm going to turn this over and I want to do that with my um, multi-purpose glue. So I'm just going to take and I'm going to, the front part of it is done, I'm going to turn it over and do the back part of it. Remember our glue is there? Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to adhere my center back here. So what I'm going to do is just add my adhesive add it to the center right here, punch my hole in the middle, and add it to my card. Now in this other one here, in this other one right here, what I did was I used a different stamp set. Let me just show you the difference between the two of them. This one right here is um, the one that is right here is the one from Blue Ribbon and that was the number one right there. It could be your number one hit. Um, this one right here I just used from the new stamp set, kind of eclectic, and you'll see me using that a lot. Um, it just kind of gave it a little spiral spin to it on the back of it. Okay, let's just stamp the inside of it. Let me show you the old one. This one is done with a stamp set that is absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love this stamp set. It is called um, Million and One, and um, I used the um, You're Fabulous, okay? So, but what I'm going to do for this one is I, I needed it for his birthday, so I used this stamp set right here, which is called Big News, and it's a two-step, or it's two sets um, in one. It's got some really cute things, and I just used It's Your Birthday. So again, I'm going to take my Memento ink, and I'm going to ink up my stamp and stamp that right here in the middle. Okay, so there, it's your birthday. And the last thing, so we've got the back done, we've got the front done, and now all we need to do is to just add our little heart. So I think I'll actually do um, a mini glue dot, and I'm going to roll it so it will be a little bit puffy. And I'm going to stick that on the back of it and just stick it right here. And the one last thing that we need to do is to make our jacket. And our jacket um, is almost done, except we need to have a little um, pull-out tab right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and I'm just going to take my one-inch punch and just put it in halfway, center it from side to side, put it in halfway. Can you see that? And then just punch. And that's the little pull-out tab. So all I have to do is slide it right inside there. And we have the jacket for our for our stamp set. And there we go. Happy, happy birthday. I hope you enjoyed my post. It was a lot of fun. Um, like I said, this is just a, an absolutely adorable card. And it's good for anybody. So take care, have a great day, and come back soon.